Hey crochet enthusiasts, hook dreamers and yarn wizards, welcome back to Not Kisses. Get ready to turn heads today, I'm unveiling a twisted delight, a tank top that's a little cheeky, a little lacy and a whole lot of fabulous. Stick around for this flatty twist on crochet fashion, let's dive in. For this tutorial you'll need medium weight yarn, scissors, dani needle, measuring tape and 3.5 mm crochet hook. Before we kick off, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. To begin, we're going to make a slip knot, so grab your yarn and wrap it around your finger twice. Take the first loop over the second, then take the second loop and position it over the original first loop. Now pull both ends simultaneously and viola, a knot has formed. Grab your crochet hook and insert it in the slip knot, then pull the short tail to make it snug. And now I'll guide you through the steps to craft a foundationless half double crochet. Yarn over, bring the yarn from back to front and pull the yarn through the slip knot and that forms a chain. Yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop and that forms another chain. Once more yarn over and pull through the loop forming another chain. Now you have three chains. Following you're going to yarn over and insert your crochet hook in the first chain. You have three chains, insert your crochet hook in the first chain. Pull the yarn through the chain, leaving three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through the first loop only. And that forms a chain on the side. Yarn over again and pull through all the three loops. A chain has developed on the side right here. Once more you're going to yarn over and then insert your crochet hook in the chain that formed on the side. Pull the yarn through the chain leaving three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through the first loop only. And you'll still have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through all the three loops. One more time you're going to yarn over and insert your crochet hook in the chain that formed on the side. And then you're going to pull the yarn through the chain, leaving three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through the first loop only, yarn over and pull through all the three loops. Continue following this pattern until it comfortably fits from the middle of your chest, covering one breast to just past the center of your back. Ensure that at the back it doesn't align precisely with the middle, leave a gap of about three to four inches. To begin the next row chain 2 and turn your work, the chain 2 counts as the turning chain and not the first stitch. Yarn over and insert your crochet hook in the first stitch. Pull the yarn through the stitch leaving 3 loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through all the 3 loops. In the next stitch prepare for a half double crochet yarn over, insert your hook in the stitch, pull the yarn through the stitch leaving 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all the 3 loops. You're going to make one half double crochet in every stitch until the end of this row and I'll catch up with you over here. I'm at the end of the row and I have one stitch left. I'm going to prepare for my final half double crochet in that last stitch. To begin the next row chain 2 and consider the chain 2 as a turning chain and not the first stitch. Yarn over and go into the first stitch and prepare for a half double crochet. Go into the next stitch and prepare for a half double crochet. You're going to create one half double crochet in every stitch of this row and I'll catch up with you here. I'm at the end of the row and I have one stitch left so I'm preparing for my last half double crochet. Continue repeating the two preceding rows until it covers your entire bust and has an additional 2 inches. On the initial piece, I marked a stitch after counting 6 rows from the bottom and another after counting 6 rows from the top.
taking the second piece, I counted six rows, positioning it between the first piece. Additionally, I placed it behind after counting six rows from the opposite edge, ensuring precise alignment. Utilize a darning needle to commence stitching from the tail end, securing all the four layers together. Proceed to stitch together these two exposed gaps. Now we are going to be working on the bottom part of the top. Create a slip knot and secure your crochet hook to the edge of the right side of the piece. Following chain 2, consider the two chains as the turning chain, yarn over and go into the first stitch and prepare for a half double crochet. Go into the next stitch and prepare for a half double crochet. Crochet one half double crochet in each stitch, bearing in mind the design central gap. Prior to reaching the gap, I personally opt for 24 half double crochet stitches. I'll replicate the same pattern on the opposite side. Therefore, if I create 24 half double crochet stitches before the gap on one side, I'll also have 24 half double crochet stitches on the other side.
Continue making one half double crochet in every stitch until where you placed your stitch marker. I've arrived where I placed my stitch marker and I'm making my 24th half double crochet. I'll proceed by making 20 chains. Ensure the gap you're forming isn't loose. Continuously check the tension as you create your chains to achieve perfection. Once you've made your chains, prepare for a half double crochet where you put your other stitch marker. Go into that stitch and make a half double crochet. Following, make one half double crochet in every stitch until the end of the row and I'll catch up with you here. I'm at the end of the row and I'm preparing for my last half double crochet. To begin the next row, chain two and turn your work. Consider the two chains as your turning chain and it doesn't count as the first stitch. So yarn over and prepare for half double crochet in the first stitch. Go into the next stitch and prepare for a half double crochet. Make one half double crochet in every stitch and I'll meet you here. I'm at the central part where we made the chains. I had 20 chains. So I'll be making one half double crochet in every chain. Make one half double crochet in every chain and I'll meet you here. Here I am. I'm going to continue with the pattern of making one half double crochet in every stitch until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. Here I am. To begin the next row, I'm going to chain two and turn my work. Yarn over. And remember the chain two is the turning chain. Prepare for a half double crochet in the first stitch. You're going to make one half double crochet in every stitch until the end of this row. Proceed with the pattern from the previous row, repeating it until you reach your desired length. In my case, I plan to craft an additional 14 rows. Now we'll be working on the side of the top where we'll create loops to attach the straps. Make a slip knot and attach your crochet hook at the bottom edge of the top. Following chain one and prepare for a single crochet in the first half double crochet space. Go into that space and make a single crochet. I'll place a stitch marker to help me recall the location of the first stitch. Go into the next half double crochet space and make a single crochet. Make one single crochet in every half double crochet row and I'll catch up with you over here. Here I am, I'm making my last single crochet in the last half double crochet row. To begin the next row, chain two and turn your work. Consider the two chains as your turning chain and it doesn't count as the first stitch. Yarn over and prepare for a half double crochet in the first stitch. Following chain two, one, two, skip two stitches and go into the third and make a half double crochet. Chain two, skip two stitches and go into the third and make a half double crochet. Chain two, one, two, skip two stitches and go into the third stitch and prepare for a half double crochet. Continue with this pattern until the end of the row and I'll catch up with you here. Here I am at the end of the row. I'm going to chain two. Actually, I only have two stitches left, but that's okay. I'm going to prepare for my last half double crochet in the last stitch. To begin the next row, chain one and turn your work. Go into the two chain space and make two single crochets. That's my second one. Then make a single crochet on top of the half 
double crochet below in the next space make two single crochets that's my second one then a single crochet on top of the half double crochet below continue with this pattern of making two single crochets in the two chain space and a single crochet on top of the half double crochet below until the end of the row and i'll meet you here i'm at the end of the row i'm going to chain one and cut off my yarn now let's craft the strap that will extend from your bust crossing all the way to the back of the top following i made a slip knot and i'm going to insert my crochet hook one stitch before the stitch marker next you're going to chain two and you're going to prepare for a half double crochet in the same stitch so in the same stitch prepare for a half double crochet in the next two stitches make one half double crochet in each chain two and turn your work consider the two chains as a turning chain and not the first stitch prepare for a half double crochet in the first stitch and then go into the next two stitches and make one half double crochet in each chain two and turn your work and prepare for a half double crochet in the first stitch and in the next two stitches make one half double crochet in each i'm going to continue with this pattern until when i stretch it i have 14 inches I chained one and inserted my crochet hook in the first stitch of the strap and also in the in the stitch where I marked the location at the back I secured with uh I secured the next three stitches with 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 <laughs> I secured with single crochets In the next stitch at the back of the top, I made a slip stitch, then I chained one and cut off my yarn. Duplicate the process you performed on this side on the opposite side as well. We've finished. Remember to tuck away any excess yarn. Like and subscribe to let me know you want more videos like this one and follow me on social media at notkisses.